Hey, what's up? This is Justin with Wingsound.com. There are many different record modes in Pro Tools 8. In this video, I'm going to show you destructive record and how it affects your audio. It'll override your previously recorded tracks and it'll save you disk space without creating two different regions. Okay, so to get to the destructive record, you can go to Options and Destructive Record. Or what you can do is go on the little record icon and hold con control and click until a little D pops up and that's destructive record. So with destructive record, what it does is it over it overtakes the audio file and it becomes a new file to whatever you've recorded over. So like I'll show you in regular record how it creates two separate regions, audio regions. So here's here's what the track is. Okay, you get the idea, it's the same thing over and over. So, I'm in regular record mode right now, and I'm gonna record over that, and let's see how that plays out. Okay, so as you can see, what I've recorded has become two separate audio regions. Audio 105, and audio 104 so 104 is my original one now I can grab this region drag it out and expand it back to what it originally was and then 105 is the newly recorded part so I can put these together however I like you know maybe I like the beginning of the new one that I recorded and the end of this so I can fade them together real nicely so they go together now if you're in destructive record so this is our original audio file now destructive record again control and click to get a d as you can see when i'm recording it's going to just create a solid file one audio region instead of chopping up two separate regions so in this case like you don't have as much flexibility as regular records because you could still you know click out the original region and drag it drag it out and you'll still have your original recording but with destructive record you know it makes you take chances and you know makes you commit to a recording and it also saves up disk space because it doesn't create um two different regions so here's destructive record So as you can see, it's named the same thing as it was originally, 104, but it's one full region instead of two separate like before. And there's only one region in my regions menu over here. So you're saving some disk space and it's making you commit to a recording, but you have less flexible options for editing later on. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.